Hello everyone, this is Brimster and welcome to the very next gas video. This will be a series of five days worth of gas puzzles. Um, I won't say five puzzles because then they throw in a curveball and I find out there's a one with a, a double. Um, and this will go from probably the 5th of January through to what, 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th, 9th of January. So um, yeah, that will... Um, be what this video hopefully is. Um, and what we're starting with is a diagonal Sudoku called Xerophilius um, by Philip Newman. Um, before I get onto this puzzle though, um, what normally happens is every five days, Clover posts some solver shout outs. So I do want to do those. So there's Jay Liss who had their first single hat um, in the last five days. So that's great. There's Mr. Scary Muffin um, who had 600 double hats and 1500 lifetime hats in the last five days. That's amazing. Um, Katie had their 1,000th lifetime hat, and Penguin 22, 28 consecutive months of increasing hats per puzzle average, which, awesome. Um, I think this these things are absolutely great, and it's worthwhile calling out people who are doing amazing work. So that's great. Um, so on to today's puzzle, which came with the following message. I've recorded my first short. I Back to Bremster. I, I don't like... I have not found any shorts content that I thought would be a fitting thing for this channel that I would enjoy doing, that I wouldn't just hate. If I ever find anything, I'll do it, but I just haven't found anything. Anyway, um, I will be doing a series discussing whatever dinosaur appeared in my previous gas. And we have a shiny new one for today's puzzle, a diagonal Sudoku. Uh, the paper uh, recognising it as a new species was only published online two days ago. That's um, um, So uh, I won't link to the video in this because I'm keeping my description short, but if you go over to the Genuinely Approachable Sudoku YouTube channel, those shorts will be listed there. So you should be able, I believe, so um, you should be able to, and I'm linking to the Genuinely Approachable Sudoku YouTube channel below. Um, so this is a diagonal Sudoku. If you get a dinosaur today, you get a shiny Cytosaur. Um, so that's what is it? Shiny, yeah, shiny side of sour, so or Sora. So this is the Sudoku. I've now switched back to the page with the Sudoku. It's a diagonal Sudoku. So first puzzle of the video. So normal Sudoku rules apply. So in every box, in every row, and in every column, the digits one to nine must be placed without repetition. And we also have to place the digits one to nine on each diagonal without repetition. Um, that's what we've got. I'm going to restart the puzzle, restart my timer. Let's give this a shot. So, uh, what can I tell about these diagonals? So, four and six on this diagonal have to go into those cells because they can't go into these. Two and eight have to go in here and they have to be those digits. So, one, this is a five in the middle. And... Okay, four. So what are these? These are one, three, seven, and nine. I'm not seeing enough about that yet. Everything's triples. This is a four, so this is a six. So this is a four. Six is here. I'm going to do something with twos and eights. Two is in one of those two. Oh, this is the eight. This is the two that's been there for ages. Oh, where's three in this column? This is the three in the column. That's the way to look at it. Where's seven in this column? This is the seven in the column. This is now one and nine, and I know the order. The nine and the one. These are now triples. So this is one, two, three, five, nine. There's no one there, but this means this is one, two, three, eight. So these are one, two, three, four, five, two, and seven. And these, I'll put the triples in, one, five, nine again. This is not the nine. Okay, so it's going to be more about these diagonals, like are they naked singles or something? Can't be two, three, four, so it's one, this is one, five, nine. And it's not five. Can I do the same here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is one and nine, so I know what these are. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So these are three and seven, and I know the order. This is the seven, this is the three, which means this is the eight, this is the three, which means this is the two, and this is the seven. Uh, not seeing the one and the nine yet. Okay. 
not the best solver in the universe. Everyone is faster than me. I might do better if I let spent less time singing. But I'm having fun, so... <laughs> um... Okay, this quadruple, I need to put two here, and now this is a triple. Three, five, seven. There's no seven there. Okay, not that triple. What about this quadruple? One, two, three. Actually, uh, I could have put an eight there, and now this is a triple. One, two, it's also, hang on, one, two, three, four, five, six, three, five, seven. So this is a three, five, seven triple. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six. This is one and six, and I know the order. Six and one. There's no three here, but these are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, four, and nine, and I know the order. Four and nine. That's weird. I love puzzles that are weird like this. Still haven't cracked it. <laughs> so three, it doesn't feel like it. It's probably naked singles or something. One, two, three, four. These are five, six, seven, eight, nine. So this is five, six, nine. Hang on. Oh, these are five, six, seven, eight, nine. So this is five or eight. No, this is not. But this is five or eight. This is a five, eight pair. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, this is a five, eight pair. So there's no five here. These are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and nine. There's no six there. But that means this is the three, which takes three out of those. This is the five, seven, which takes seven out of there. This is a seven, which puts seven into one of those two. I can probably do the same down here. These are one, two, three, four, five. But there's a one, three, this is two and five. So these are one, three, and four. Three, four, But the two and the five means this is the seven, this is the five, which means this is the... Wait, did I just do that wrong? I did that wrong. This is the seven, which takes seven out of both of these. This is the five, this is the three, which means this is the seven and this is the five. There's no three here, so this is the three. This triple... Well, where do I put seven in this column now? It's there. And this is a one or a four, so four, one four not one but that makes this the nine so this is the one the nine makes this six and this nine this is now five nine one eight five eight so one two three four five six one two three four five and nine and i know the order five and nine this is the five, the two, the five, the one, the nine, two, these are three and four, so four and three, the one, this is five and six, so six and five, six minutes, 17 seconds. What was the two hat time? Seven minutes. So did pretty good with that one. I mean... <laughs> It's always despondent, and I don't think people realise just how how much it drags so it can drag solvers down when you look in a solving time. It's like I think I did really well at that puzzle. I'm really happy with my six minute seventeen time. And you'll look in a in a channel, and it's like I solved this in two minutes and twelve seconds. It's like oh oh well, maybe I shouldn't bother. And um. I, I know solvers who literally turn around and they go, oh, in that case, I'm terrible and I, I shouldn't bother. I don't know anyone who turns around and like, get, I, I know people who see that they are not doing well compared to other people and they just feel so negative and it basically makes them feel dumb and it drives them away. Whereas 
when times aren't involved, I don't know anyone who, who is driven away by that. It, it's just weird. Um, competition is all competition on something like this is always negative. It's, it just is. Um, but it's the way it is. Six minutes, 17 seconds for me. And if you did faster, woohoo. And if you did slower, if you had fun, you got more time out of it. I think you win. So, um, yeah, congratulations if you got a dinosaur or one hat. And if you've got two hats, I'm sorry. See you tomorrow. Okay, and now the puzzle for the 6th of January, 2024, which is a region sum lines puzzle by Clover. This is the message that came with it. Apologies for the de uh, delay on the gas leak. Entirely my fault. Again, it'll be here within a few days. For those of you who don't know, the gas leak are the, or the gas leaks are the packs of puzzles where they put, generally, I think it's a month at a time of the gas puzzles together into a pack format. Um, and they're available over on the gas homepage, which is linked in the description below. So you can go and you can get those. And normally there's bonus, <coughs> me there's bonus puzzles in there as well so if you love the gas puzzles and you want to get them in an easy findable format um, that's a great way to do it so if you're coming to these videos late and you're after links to the puzzles or you just want to get the puzzles in a way where you can store them and, and find them forever that's the, it's just a wonderful way to do it Today's guess is a reason. Some line Sudoku, uh, normal Sudoku rules apply its rules. If you get a dinosaur today, you get a regional Regaloceratops. So, um, yes, normal Sudoku rules apply. Each blue line passes through multiple regions in the grid. Along each line, the digits within each region have the same sum. Different lines may or may not have different sums. So, uh, yeah, so what we know is, for example, on this line, those two cells have the same sum as that. So those two um, uh, digits will sum to five, and the same is true on all of them. Cyan is an interesting choice of color, but all good. I'm going to restart the puzzle to restart my timer. Let's give this a shot. So we do know that these sum to five, and they can't be, so they're either one, four, or two, three, and they can't be two, three, because the um, can't put two or three in that cell. So this is a one, four pair. Um, this sums to five and they can't be one, four. This is a two, three pair. Um, so this has a minimum of 10. So the minimum I can put into this is one, two, three, four, getting me to 10, but this is a two, uh, and this is a two. So the maximum this could be is 11 if I made it two, nine, but I can't. So it is a 10 with two, eight, and these are one, two, three, four. There's no one in those. So one is in those. This is a seven getting me to 10. Um, there's no three there. There's no two there. There's no four there. That's probably not where I'm supposed to be looking. Minimum here is 10, but the maximum maximum here is 10 with one nine. So this is four, six. These are one, two, three, four. There's no three in those. Um, so I've got a one, two, four triple. There's no one there. There's no four there. There's no two there. Actually, there was no two there. So I've got a one, three pair in the column. There's no one or four there. So this is the two taking two out of those. Um, there's no two there. This is a one, four. This is a one, three, four. So that's the two. Um, the two means this is the three and this is the two. Um, 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 so there's one, two, three, fours all over the place. The three here makes this the four, which makes this the one, this the three, this the one, this the four, this the three. The four makes this the one and this the four. No, not that, that the four. Can I do Sudoku now? One is on this line, which sums to eight, which it always had to be because in order to make eight, two, three, four would have been the minimum and it's not. I can't put two on this. So this isn't, this is one, three, four, which is now the minimum it can be. There's no one there. There's no four on that so that's a one three pair and that's the four the three looks up making that the one and that the three now this nine line doesn't have to have a one on it can be can it be two three four no can't be two three four because this these would both have to be three so there is a one on the line um putting one in one of those two can i do the same trick here what's the minimum the minimum of those is 10 but what's this triple one, two, three, four, five, six, no, five, seven, and nine. The minimum of those is 10, but the maximum of those is 10. So this is a nine. These are one, two, three, four. There's no one or three there. There's no one there. One is down here, but it's not there. This is the one, which means this isn't the one. There is a one on this line. There had to be a one on that line. I could have got that if I'd done the math. There's no two there. There's no three there. That's the four. That's the two. That's the three. One, two, three, four, five, six. These are seven, eight, nine, which means that's the seven by Sudoku. This is an eight, nine pair taking the nine out of there, but I could have taken the nine out of there by Sudoku as well. Um, 
so this is now one, two, this is a three, which means these sum to that. Now, is, does this have to be two, four? What are these? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two and nine. It's because the six made that the seven. Now, if I put a nine on this line, I'm already, I'm, I'm over the total, surely. Because, yeah, if this is a not, that would be a nine and this would have to be a zero. So that's the two, that's the nine. Um, these do sum to 10, so this is the four. Um, and this is a six. So all of the lines, have, all of the rings sum to 10, which is cool. Uh, but, but, but this nine looks like making that the eight and that the nine. Um, these have to sum to eight. They're not one, seven or three, four. So they're, sorry, they're not one, seven or, well, they couldn't be four, four. They're not two, six. So they're three, five. The five makes that the three and that the five. The lines are now done and I'm doing Sudoku. Great. So two is in one of, no, oh, I've got two, three, four. Of course, I can ignore the low digits pretty much. Two, two. Two, what are these? One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And I know the order. Seven, no, wait, I've broken the puzzle. I've broken the puzzle. What the heck was this? One, two, three, four, this is a five. Hopefully, I've just got that pencil mark wrong. Seven and six. These are one, two, three, four, five. Six. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and nine go into those, and I know the order of the seven, nine. Hopefully I've just got that pencil mark wrong and I'm not gonna have completely fluffed the puzzle. One, two, three, four, five, and seven. Thing is with the gas puzzle, if I go back and check all of that stuff, um, this, I've, I'm taking way too much time. This is why I hate, I really don't like the speed solving aspect. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, two, and eight. So this is two, this is not the two, this is the eight. This is now the two in the box. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and nine. So seven, nine. So these are five and seven. One, two, three, four, five, and seven. So this is the seven, this is the five, this is the seven. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So this is the five. One, two, three, six, eight. There's a three and an eight. No, why did it, no, four, six, eight. But there's a four and an eight there. I typed the right thing, said the wrong thing. Four and eight make that the six. The four means this is the eight. This is the four. I had to record these early in the morning, which doesn't help. One, two, three, four, five, six and nine go in. So this is one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, seven and eight go in. So eight. And, oh, I could have used that. Why didn't I use that earlier? Hmm, it's on me, completely on me. No one's fault but my own. Um, okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, and eight go into those. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and nine. Oh, this five makes this six and this five, which makes this nine and this five, which makes this eight and this six, um, which makes this nine and this six. And that is the correct solution. 642, which is under the two hat time by, uh, what's that, 50 something. Uh, it was 730. So that is 48 seconds. So, okay. I did okay. I missed some, I, I should have used that a lot earlier. I made a mistake in here with a pencil mark, but it seems to have been okay. I seem to have just pencil marked the wrong thing, but didn't use the pencil mark. So that's okay as well. Oh, well, that's um, January 6th. I now need to go record January 7th. There were technical reasons why I didn't record yesterday. Um, and now um, on to the next puzzle. Okay, and now the puzzle for the 7th of January 2024, which is called The Chocolate Teapots by Bill Murphy. Here's the message that came with it. Today's pencil mark Sudoku was inspired by the phrase that's pretty common to CTC viewers, the chocolate teapot triple. A triple makes up uh, that made up of three cells with two center marks in each cell. It is often thought to be useless, uh, uh, useful as a chocolate teapot, but if you think a little bit... Um, 
uh, use a bit of cleverness and ingenuity, turns out a chocolate teapot might be exactly what you need. Um, there is a link in the description to BBC News article, which I'm not going to link to because I don't want to provide extra links in my description. But if you go to the um, Sudoku channel on the CTC Discord, they'll, you'll be able to find the link. Uh, normal Sudoku rules apply. Digits marked in cells are all possible candidates for that cell. Now, if you get a dinosaur today, you get a... A slightly melted Melanosaurus, but um, there's a note that I want to read out, which is, if you run into issues with this puzzle showing a blank grid, um, the way to go about fixing this is to open it in a private browser where it will not read your stored cookie for the solve. Um, there are some issues with pencil mark Sudoku where the pencil marks, which you can see in this grid, may not come up in the basic um, solve um, or in the basic grid, and there can, it can be a setting issue. Um, but yeah, opening it in a private browser window will re fresh all of your cookies it also means that you won't get all of your default settings so if you use custom colors or if you have a particular setting about what shows and what doesn't show in sudoku pad they won't show either but those settings are probably what's causing the interference um, i've particularly noted that um, the large digit setting can interfere with it um, and there was one other but it's been a while since i looked at it um, and you can embed the settings into the url which will cause it to always display but um I can't remember what they were. Anyway, uh, let's have a look at this puzzle. So as I said, um, it's normal Sudoku rules, but and the, the pencil marks that are given are the pencil marks. that Those are the only possible candidates for those cells. I'm going to restart the puzzle to restart my timer. I haven't done one of these in a while, so I don't expect to hit the hat time on this, but let's give this a... Oh. And this is the problem that happens. Because I've restarted the puzzle, everything's gone away. So, and this is exactly the problem that happens. Let's give this a shot. Um, I had to reload the window to make that happen. So this is one, two, four. So this is eight. So this is five. So this is two. The one, two, four looks down, making this three, which makes this four, which makes this one. The four looks across, making this two, making this three, making this four. Um, this is six, seven, eight, looking up, making this five, which makes this seven, which makes this six. The seven makes this nine, which makes this five. Um, the one, two, three looks across, making that four, that one, that two. The six makes this the eight and this the six. The five looks down, making this the seven, this the eight, this the five. The eight makes this the six, this the seven, this the eight, which makes this the four and this the seven. The three looks up, making this the one, this the two, and this the three. The five made this the nine, um, which makes this the eight. And now I'm down to just digits. So three is looking down in one of those two. So three is in one of those two, not the place to look. Um, seven is in one of those two. Four, however, is just placed. So that's the seven. Um, bu -bu -bu. So one, two, oh, this is a three, five pair. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and nine go into those, and I know the order. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and eight go into those, and I know the order because there's already an eight in column six. Uh, sorry, this five made this three and this five. Um, do I want to look at, I'm going to look at this row, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, whoops, one, four, and nine go in, there's no one or four there, that's the nine, taking nine out of both of those, uh, so these are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and these are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, four, seven, and eight, there's a four, seven already in column one, and there's already a um, seven in column two, um, this column now, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and there's already a five in row four. Um, I'm often saying the row and everything to try and speed up my solve and explain what I'm doing, but while I'm doing that, I'm th saying a digit that is not the digit I'm trying to type. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, and nine. Um, there's already a one, two, so that's the nine, um, and there's already a two in row four. So one, two, three, and nine go in. These are one, five, and eight. There's already a one and an eight, so that's the five. There's already five, no, there's already an eight, so that's the one, that's the eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven go in. There's already a seven in column four. This is a triple. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, two, four, and nine. There's already a two, four in column nine. Um, and the two, four, not sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is a one, two, three, four quadruple. 
So one, two, three, four, five, six, and nine go into those, but there's already fives in those. So this is the five. This six makes this the nine and this the six, which makes this the three and this the nine. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And the seven makes that the four and that the seven. The four looks down, making that the two and that the four, which means this is the one, this is the four, this is the three, this is the one, this is the two, this is the three. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, three and eight. And the eight makes that the three and that the eight. These are one and two. And I've got the order because there's already a two in row five. That's now the three. Um, these are a triple, which is one, two, three, four, five, six, and one, six, and nine. There's a one and a nine in column nine. There is a one in column seven. Nine, one. I need. To, I've got a one. I need to put a two in. Three, four. I need to put in a five. I need to put in a six. And that is the solution in three minutes fifty. Holy cow! To get, a, I needed six minutes to get two party hats. So two and a half minutes under. Wow. Pretty happy with that. Um, I suppose with that, I move on to tomorrow's puzzle. And now the puzzle for the 8th of January, 2024. This is a puzzle by Philip Newman, and it's called Eviticus Knock, which is consecutive backwards, because this is an anti-consecutive puzzle. Um, this is the message that came with it. We've posted gas every day for 946 consecutive days. But do you ever wonder what would happen so, um, to space-time if we posted gas every day non-consecutively? I live in Australia. You may have posted a puzzle every day for 946 days, but sometimes the puzzle comes in for me after midnight and there is a day with no puzzle. So you've posted a puzzle every day, but I've had days with no puzzle. So you haven't posted consecutively, but you have posted every day, depending on your point of view. So they haven't been consecutive, but you've posted every day. So yeah. Anyway, moving on. Uh, today's guess is a somewhat spicy, non-consecutive Sudoku. Okay, if you get a dinosaur today, you get a marvellous Macrurosaurus. Okay, so switching to the puzzle. This is the puzzle. Um, uh, yep, non-consecutive. So it is the normal Sudoku rules and... Um, Digits in orthogonally adjacent cells, so anything where you draw a domino, so these are orthogonally adjacent, these are orthogonally adjacent, these are orthogonally adjacent, cannot be consecutive, so they cannot have a difference of one. I'm going to restart the puzzle to restart my timer. Let's give this a shot. So eight couldn't go next to seven or nine. I can't put nine in those, so this is a nine, right. Um, do, do, do. I'm not sure what else I can do here. Let's look at the other central cells. Four can't go next to three or five. I can't put a three there. So this is a three. It means five is in one of those two. Uh, puts three in one of those two. Six can't go next to five or seven. I can't put seven in those. This is a seven. Um, okay, two can't go next to one or three, but I can't put one there, so this is the one. Okay, I've got nine here, which can't go next to eight, but that's not helping me. One can't go next to two, that's not helping me. Five can't go next to four or six, so I know four is up here and six is down here. Now, with that, that puts six in one of those two. So six is in one of those two, and four is in one of those two. Okay, somewhat spicy indeed. Now, two... Two and four cannot go in those. Two can't go in those. So this is the two. Four is in one of those two, which means that's not the four, and this is the four. Um, now, down here, I can't put six or eight around those, and I can't put eight there. So this is the eight. Six goes in one of those two, which means that's not the six, and this is the six. Okay. Nine is not in one of those or one of those. So nine is looking up here. Um... What else? One is not in one of those. One is not in one of those. One is looking down here. Now, nine is not in any of those. Oh, it's not in any of those. No, that's not it, I don't think. Six is not in any of those. So six is looking down here. Right. Six is not in any of those because six takes it out of there and I can't put six next to seven. So six is in one of those, which means that's not the six. This is the six. Four, oh, I've got four not being in there. Yeah, I've got four over here already. Eight is not in one of those. It's not there. Huh. Eight is not in one of those. Eight is looking up here. So eight is in one of those two because I can't put it next to the nine. Eight, oh, eight is in one of those two. 
Um, eight is in one of those three. Yeah, this is somewhat spicy, isn't it? Four is not in those or there. So four is looking up here. That's not the four. This is the four. So I've got to put a two. Two is not here. Two is not here. So two is in one of those two. Which means two is in one of these. And it's not next to the one. So two is in one of those. What's this quadruple? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, two, three, seven, eight. Well, I'm not putting eight next to nine. And I'm not putting three there. I'm not putting two there. I'm not putting seven there because it would be next to six. I'm not putting two there. I'm not putting two there. So there's no two in any of those. That's the two. That's weird. Oh, there's no eight there. There's no eight there. That's the three. That's the seven. That's the eight. That's not the eight. That's really cool. So what are these? These are one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, eight, and nine. Now there's no two or eight there. There's no two or eight there. So there's a one nine pair. I can take one nine out of those. So these are one and nine. How do I resolve that? Oh, the one looking down here. This can't be a one because I can't put one in any of those cells. So the one is looking down here. This is the nine. This is the one. The nine means that's the two and that's the eight. Very cool. Okay, so. Two in this row is not over here now. Two is over here and it's not next to the one. So this is the two. This is a quadruple. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, three, five, seven, and nine. Now I'm not putting three or five there because it would be next to four. So three and five are over here. I'm not putting three next to two. I'm not putting three or five. So there's a seven, nine pair. I can take seven and nine out of both of those. So this is five and three. These are one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wait, this is just a seven. So this is one, this is one and eight. One and eight. The seven makes this the nine. This is a triple. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's no seven there. There's no seven there. This is the seven. I've... Oh, I can't put five next to six. That's the three. That's the five. So this quadruple, maybe? One, two, three, four, five. No, not... Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I'm not putting eight up there. So this is one, two, five. I'm not putting eight there. I'm not putting two or one there. This is five, eight. I'm not putting five there because it would be next to six. That did not help. Oh, there's no two there either. Oh, no, 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 no. That did not help. Okay, so I'm still a little blind as to where I should be looking. That's going to be the equivalent of this. So that's not the column to look at. Maybe this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, three, five, six, and nine. There's no three there. There's no nine there. So this is five or six. There's no three there. There's no nine there. This is not helped. But six has to be down here because I can't put six in any of those. So this is the five. I can take five out of all of those. That's not a six. So this is three, six, nine. So these are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. These are one, four, five. There's no five there. This is the five. This is a one, four. And I know the order four and one, which takes one out of there. But it means this is a pair. One, two, three, four, five, six, and nine. So this is the six. This is the nine. This is a triple now. One, two, three, four, five, one, four, seven. There's no seven there. There's no four there. There's no one there. I can remove the corner marks. Okay, that was interesting. Did that put any pressure on these? Yeah, four can't be next to three. So this is six, this is nine, this is three. Six can't be next to seven. Four, one, seven. 
Okay, so that means 3-3. Three, 3 is three. Three up here, and it's not in either of those. That's your 3. Two is in one of those two. What's this triple? One, two, three, four, five, seven, and eight. So these are five, seven, and eight, but there's a five, eight in that column already. So this is a five or an eight. This is now a triple. One, two, three, four, five, six, four, six, and nine. There's no six there. There's no nine there. There's no four there. This is spicy. This triple? Ah, this three looks up. That's not the three. This is the three. So let's look at this triple, though. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. No, not six, five. Two, four, five. There's no two there. There's no four there. And there's no two there because it's next to a three. This is the five. This is the four. This is the two. This is the five. Which means this is the eight and this is the one. The 8 makes that the 5. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, which means this is 9, which means this is 6, this is 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 8 go in. I'll use the 6 to make that the 8 and that the 6. This pair, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8, which I can resolve because there's a 7 in row 1. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 2, 5, 9. So there's no... 2 there, there's no 9 there, that's the 5, um, and that's the 2, and that's the 9. There's no 5 here. Is this 1, 2? It is 1, 2. So 1, 2, this is three. This is a 7, no, not a 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, this is a 6, and that is the puzzle. 9 minutes, 22 seconds. To get two hats, I needed to do it in 10, so I made it. So that was a non-consecutive, which was a pit spicy. I got it in two hats just, um, and I was explaining as I was going, which is always a bit of a penalty. I think solving on camera always slows you down. I don't know what the gas solvers feel about that. Maybe one of them will comment below. That was a lot of fun. I enjoyed that one. Um, I hope you did as well, and uh, tomorrow will be the last puzzle in the set, so I'll see you then. Okay, and now we have the final puzzle in this particular video that I'm doing. This is the puzzle for the 9th of January 2024, and this is called Rorschach Test by Clover. Here's the message. Classic Sudoku, if you ask me, is the hardest Sudoku variant to set. No argument from Bremster. It has this funny way of tricking you into believing that your beautiful setup will survive right until you reach the very end of the process and discover that, one, it needs to be given more, uh, it needs more given, uh, needs more it needs one more given, and two, every single given you could possibly add will ruin the entire thing. Mm -hmm. In short, be very impressed by Bill and Philip. They have uncommonly enormous brains. Uh, they, they just do a lot with them, but not arguing with Clover. Enormous, phenomenally enorm uncommonly enormous brains as well. Today's guess is a classic Sudoku. Normal Sudoku rules apply, and that's it. And if you... Oh, Lord. If you... Okay, if you get a dinosaur, it's an open to interpretation on Athelia. Great. Okay, so this is the Sudoku puzzle. Um, I'm it, normal Sudoku rules. I'm going to restart the puzzle to restart my timer and let's give this a shot. One, one. This makes this a one. Uh, three, three makes this a three. This is a two, so I've got one, two, three roping, which is interesting. Five now has to go in one of those two. Uh, okay. Right, um, can I do something similar down here? 777, 999, 555, so 579 is the roping. Four has to go down here. That I don't think is what I should be looking at though. Two is in one of those two, so this is a two. These are one, three, six, and eight. There's no three in those. There's no three or six there. So this is the three. Six is looking up there. So six is in one of those two. Hmm. So I've got to put a four in one of those two, which means four is down here. Five is in, uh, five is right here. Three, three, this is a three. That's kind of useful which means three is in one of those two. Ah, oh, the eight means this isn't the eight. So this is one, three, six. 
and there's no one in either of those. So this is the one, this is the eight, this is the six, this is a three, six pair. So this is one, two, three, one, two, and four. There's no one in either of those two. That's the one, this is the four, this is the two. This is a pair, one, two, three, four, five, six, and eight. And I've got an eight, so that becomes the six, that becomes the eight. So these are one and four. Not sure what to do with that or the three and the six yet. Okay, so can I do similar stuff in the band at the top? So one, two, three, four, five. These are from six, seven, and eight. And there's no six there. This is just an eight. So this is a triple. One, two, three, four, five, six, four, six, and nine. There's no six in the middle. So this is a triple. One, two, three, four, five, six. No. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, and seven. There's no two in those. So this is a two. This is a one, seven, and I know the, the order. So these are one, two, it's those two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, four, seven, and nine go into those. There's no nine there. There's no four there. So, oh, this one looks down, making that the four and that the one. So this is a pair. One, two, three, four, five, six, and nine go into those. So one, two, three, four, four, and seven go into those. This triple, one, five, nine. Well, there's no five in any of those, so that's the five. The one nine is resolved, so nine, one, which makes that the seven, which makes that the four, which makes that the nine, and takes nine out of both of those. Puts nine in one of those two, but I'm not sure that's where I should be looking. I'm going to try this triple, which has two there, so this is now a pair. One, two, three, four, and eight which I know the order of, four and eight, which makes this six and four. This is a pair, three and five, and the three makes that the five and that the three. This is a triple, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and nine. There's no nine there, there's no nine there. I should have put that nine in ages ago, but I didn't. Um, okay, so uh, the three looks down, making that six, which makes that three which makes that seven, which makes that six. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is an eight. The five looks up, meaning that's the five. One, two, three, four, five, six, four, six, and seven. There's no six in those, so that's the six. That's the seven, that's the four, that's the seven, that's the four. The six makes that the nine and that the six. This is not the six anymore. That's the six. That's not the seven, that's the eight. So one, two, three, four, five. I've got to put a seven and a nine. Four minutes, 32, which is 58 seconds under the two hat time. So once again, I got two hats. My speed solving is definitely improving. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. I enjoyed these five puzzles quite a lot. Um, I didn't get to record them one per day. That just wasn't my schedule this week. That's the way it happens. Um, but yeah, good fun. Um, thank you to the gas setters. Um, as always, please go and check out the Genuinely Approachable Sudoku YouTube channel, which has just hit a thousand subscribers, which is always a big milestone for a YouTube channel. So that one's good for them. Make sure you watch their videos and get their watch time up. That's going to be something that they're going to do. Uh, really want um so go and check out their videos for sure um uh, yeah thanks for setting the puzzles really do appreciate it thanks to everyone who's watching these videos i appreciate that too um check out the gas homepage where there are links to other video solvers and all of that um and yeah as always good luck with your solving